For the first time since the OnePlus One, OnePlus revamped their mainline charging tech for the OnePlus 7 Pro with Warp Charge. Last year, we saw this new faster charging spec on the McLaren Edition OnePlus 6T. But today, we're going to compare it to some of its other fast charging rivals. I'm Daniel Marchena with XDA TV. Let's take a closer look. Warp Charge 30 made its grand reveal late last year and in small numbers, but after what seems like a solid launch, OnePlus saw fit to put it on its 2019 flagship. Compared to the older dash charging spec, a lot of things you love are still here. Warp charging does its power conversion in the charging brick instead of on the device. This allows you to game or use your phone while it's charging with no heat buildup. This is something its competitors like USB PD or Huawei Supercharge just cannot match. Warp Charge 30 is just as its name implies, a 30 watt maximum output up from the 20 watt with dash charge. Today we are pitting it against the Oppo Reno 10X Zoom with its VOOC 3.0 flash charge tech and 4000 mAh battery. Much like the OnePlus for obvious reasons, OnePlus similarly offloads its power conversion to the charging brick, keeping temps low. I also decided to pit it against the blisteringly powerful Huawei Supercharge 40 Watt Edition that does just what its name implies, forces up to 40 watts of power to fast charge the P30 Pro. And finally, rounding out the competition is the Pixel 3, utilizing USB PD with up to 18 watts of charging power. So let's get started with our 15 minute top up. As you can pretty clearly see here, the Huawei P30 Pro cleans up with an astonishing 26% battery top up compared with 15% for the OnePlus 7 Pro, 13% for the Google Pixel 3, and 11% for the Oppo Reno. It's one thing though to simply compare what the battery percentage increased, so I created a second chart that highlights the actual usage time you can expect to gain off each of these charges. To create this usage chart, I took the GSM Arena battery life endurance numbers and factored in only about 40%, which lines up right with my real world usage I've had with my P30 Pro, going from 100 hours claimed to about 40 hours of actual usage, and that's right along what I've seen during my nearly three months of daily use. Now once I have this new number, I divide it by 100 to see what each percentage of battery charge is worth and, well, add them up. As expected, the Huawei P30 Pro takes the crown with over 11 hours of actual usage gained in 15 minutes, following behind are the OnePlus 7 Pro and the Oppo Reno with just over 5 hours and the Pixel 3 trails with 3.5 hours gained. Now, charging your phone during the shower or morning routine for, say, 30 minutes? Well, our next test shows you what you can expect to gain in those scenarios. The P30 Pro goes from 5% starting to 63% battery in 30 minutes. Remember, this is a 4200 milliamp hour battery, the biggest in this entire competition. After 30 minutes, the Oppo Reno overtakes the OnePlus 7 Pro, and the Pixel 3 trails far behind due to its far inferior charging spec. Those come in at 40, 33, and 23% respectively. Now looking at our hours of usage chart, the P30 Pro climbs to 23 hours or pretty much an entire day of use in 30 minutes. The Oppo Reno climbs to 14 hours, the OnePlus 7 Pro gains 9 hours, and the Pixel 3 comes in at 5 hours of actual expected usage. Now, not everything comes down to quick top-ups, and sometimes you just want to see that 0 to 100 test, so here it is. The P30 Pro completely fills its 4200 milliamp hour battery in less than an hour. The Oppo Reno and OnePlus 7 tie at about an hour in 20 minutes, and the Pixel 3 hits nearly 2 hours with 1 hour and 50 minutes to top up its charge. So the Huawei Supercharge clearly takes the crown here, right? Well, 
not so fast. Remember I said earlier that OnePlus and Oppo offload the power conversion to the charging brick, and here in our temperature chest, you can see its impact. While the Oppo Reno stays relatively level, the OnePlus 7 Pro sees a 5 degree Celsius deviation from its starting temp before leveling out and dropping off at 75% battery charge. The Pixel 3 is all over the place, but staying relatively calm at a 5 degree deviation and finally settling at negative 12 degrees under its starting temperature. The P30 Pro, though, shows you can't cram all that juice in without generating some heat, and the P30 Pro clearly does this. It climbs to a peak of 13 degrees over its starting temp, or what ended up being a peak temperature of 43 degrees Celsius. It was also the slowest to drop back to its starting temperature, only obtaining that goal once it hit 100% or charging was done. High temperatures can lead to decreased longevity and increased battery drain and wear and tear, and it should be avoided where possible, and it looks like power charging the Huawei P30 on a daily basis might not be the best thing for it. So there you have it. While the OnePlus 7 Pro isn't a clear winner in our comparison, it does offer the best of both worlds with Warp Charge 30. It gives you outstanding battery life top-ups without generating the heat on the phone and increasing the battery wear and tear. The charging spec wars though are just heating up, with Samsung and the Galaxy Note 10 rumored to be bumping its charging spec to 25 watts, or almost what Warp Charge 30 does, so we'll have to wait and see what they do there. Now if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to leave it a like and get subscribed if you aren't already, and turn on the notification bell to get notified of every one of our videos here at XDA TV. I'm Daniel Marchena and I'll see you in the next one.